So we arrived into Sevilla by plane, and the idea was to take a Vespa, like you would in an eastern country like Thailand or Vietnam, and see the surrounding area and take in all of the sites that uh, Andalusia has to offer. But finding a Vespa for a week or so was difficult and expensive, so we had our own Vespa sent from Barcelona to Sevilla. And on the day we arrived, it was there for us to pick up and use. So we flew to Sevilla and we picked up our scooter that evening in the center of the city where we were staying. A beautiful city if you ever want to go. I don't know if you can tell, but by the images, it was very, very hot and a cold beer was needed. Um, but we were only in Sevilla for the one night before we would leave the next day. And uh, here's a couple of shots of just the city uh, taken on an iPhone. So it'll give you an idea of what it's like. and. Today we would be traveling to Ronda, uh, which I hadn't been before, and it's a couple of hours drive, or a few hours drive, so we knew we would stop. Utrera was too quick, so we picked Moron, and then we picked beside here Sierra de Liar, which is of these mountains to Ronda. So we took this road, which was out of the city, along here straight, which looked interesting, to Moron. Then we came down this road into the mountains, which was really nice and then we went around on the main road to Ronda. And that was the first leg of our drive. So why by two wheels? Well, on two wheels, you're in the environment. You're immersed in the smells, the sounds, the change in temperature, the wind. You're actually surrounded by nature. In an automobile, you're sort of in an air-conditioned and closed environment. And most of the time you would spend it traveling on fast road, faster roads to get to your destination, but I find traveling at a slower speed, not even that much slower, the national speed limit, it's much more enjoyable to be in the air and having the natural air flowing around you and keeping your body cool, especially in August in um, southern Spain. Also the old adage being that journey is more interesting than the destination. So why don't you take in as much of the journey as you can? Um, traveling in one direction to one destination and then flying home again seems an awful bad use of time because time is your most precious resource to see as much as you can and experience as much as you can so a road trip is the most wonderful way to do anything and, uh, and see different places I think everyone should do it Ronda was our first destination and it was a new part of uh, Spain to us and as you can see the scenery was amazing. Most of the images were shot on just mobile phones as was the video. Uh, we went to, on excursions to a place called Sentinel, you might have seen just a picture of it there which was a village or a town inside a crack in, in the earth almost. Uh, there it is there, Sentinel. And um, we went there on a day trip and it was very nice to see and doing very unusual. So after two nights in a really nice hotel in Ronda, which had the most amazing backdrop to a swimming pool, we planned a trip the next morning to get to Tarifa. And uh, again, keeping the roads interesting on the Vespa, we decided to take this route. So we came out of Ronda and along this road, we stopped at Gaussin along here and then hit a little bit of main road, sort of here. And I caught a friend of mine down here and went around, skipping past Gibraltar all the way to Tarifa, which I'd never been before, which is the southernmost place of Europe, mainland Europe. And uh, it was absolutely beautiful town. Very, very windy though. The old fortified centre of Tarifa has a unique history which you should check it out, but uh, the architecture was also interesting. Um, also it's a centre for wind sports of Europe, not far from Africa.
So after a night in Windy Tarifa, which was beautiful, as it said, uh, we were going to Beher, and we just took this this road here all the way up. It's a short distance after two long spins, and uh, we stayed here because during the height of August, it was very, very expensive down here on the coast to stay. And we stayed two nights in Beher, which was a beautiful village on the top of a hill near enough to the coast. Uh, really, really, really pretty. As a wonderful example of the perfect Andalusian uh, hilltop town or village with narrow cobbled streets, uh, Beher was very pretty and it was amazing how green the area was down in southern Spain around Beher. It had a lovely centre to the town and on day, during the day we went to beaches on the surrounding area, uh, Al Palmar was one and um, we had a nice Airbnb in the very centre of the city. So after two nights in Bear, Bear, we took this smaller road, not the red one, but this narrow road on the Vespa all the way to San Fernando where we stopped for um, stopped for some refreshments before we actually headed into Cadiz, which we'd been to before and it's another wonderful town. And we just took the main road straight to Cadiz and we stayed in Cadiz for two nights. Uh, and I was, uh, I can recommend Cadiz, it's lovely and all along here is beautiful beaches and there's also city beaches around there. This was our second time to Cadiz and it's a wonderful city uh, on the Atlantic coast. Extremely pretty and uh, not too hot because there's a nice breeze coming off the Atlantic and it was one of the nicer places to stay. But we had lots of really, really good food and just enjoying the city and walking around its many squares and making full use of the wonderful market that it has was well, the highlight really uh, as well as the beaches and the beaches on the way to Cadiz is very easy to access with, when you have a Vespa or two wheels to get there um, it's not far away but also getting into Cadiz itself not having a car to have to worry about parking it etc or parking it at the beach was also very very useful um, the beaches down there, the Long Beach to Cadiz was pretty much empty as you can see in the photographs. But again, very interesting city in southern Spain. After nice stay and, and lots of lovely seafood in Cadiz. We left over the bridge and onto this small road to take us to Jerez, which we'd also been in before. And we stopped there for light refreshments in the city and uh, only a short trip, a couple of kilometers to San Lucar. San Lucar was a place I'd never heard of before, but it was a very, very popular holiday destination for the wealthy way well, over a century ago and the small town itself was very very beautiful very close to or on um, a really long sandy beach that was very very flat and safe and um, when we had arrived there there was actually horse races going on on the beach which was something that's very similar to my local beach in Ireland um, but again it was a nice relaxed place to be if you wanted space and you wanted air and even though we only stayed there for one night uh, we enjoyed it and um, had some really good food there again. We left San Lucar and took another small road on the Vespa, which was really nice, uh, all the way to the main road, and we decided that because it was so hot and the long drive we wanted to go quickly so we took the scooter Vespa on most of the highway straight in and back to Sevilla where we were going to drop the scooter off that evening and it would be sent back to Barcelona. So getting back to Sevilla uh, earlier than planned left us time to go to some of our favourite places for lunch and have some very nice food again. Sevilla is just it's a postcard really, the centre of the old town and the new sculpture that's there, I don't even know what that's called, but I really really like it, I think it's amazing, there's some shots of it lit up, 
the walk along the river as well was also very good and to see the exhibition space that they built in god knows when it was 18 something but that's a lovely place to be and walk around the night before we left the guy came and took the vespa and was would have it back in barcelona in a number of days we were leaving later in the evening to get back to barcelona and we covered a maximum of 730 kilometers so that was our round trip around andalusia and uh, we took the plane home